Hey guys, so the next technique that we're going to be working on, Gordon Ryan used at Nogi Worlds last year against Yuri Samos. So here in this floating position, Yuri ended up going with an underhook on the leg and gable gripping to control the knee line here. And so now this is a very strong grip that kills movement on the right side of my hip and there's no way I'm going to be able to kick my leg up and over to perform any of the stuff that we've been working on later. What we're going to look at doing now, because he's cut down this side of the hip, is moving that same direction. So just back up a little bit here. What happens in the match, Yuri ends up actually letting go of this briefly, but still maintaining this underhook. And as Yuri starts to look for an underhook on this arm, or around the body, Gordon takes this arm, performs like a wizard, but starts punching all the way down towards the hip. So I'll end up showing a different angle from here. Still using this arm as base. It's really important that we don't keep it too close to our partner here because we're gonna possibly be able to be tipped here. We're going a lot heavier onto the right side. And what Gordon does is just kicks. He drops his knee down here and kicks his leg back to disconnect from the opponent's hip and leg. So here, kicks and ends up sprawling out here. And because he had that overhook, this arm is now blocking the hip. So that if Kevin tried turning up into me, I'm able to block it, and he's able to stop Yuri from being able to ever actually use his wrestling. So we go to the other side. Here, Kevin does the underhook, a gable grip like this. Once, let's go, Yuri starts looking for an underhook here around the ribs. Gordon takes his arm and punches it through like a wizard, but instead of overhooking and wrapping around, trying to bring the hand up to the chest and shoulder here, He's just looking at punching it straight down. From here, his head in base, kicks his leg back, and sprawls out. It has this blocking the hip, preventing Yuri from being able to come up once again for wrestling, or prevents any kind of regarding. Even if Kevin starts hipping away at this point, it's blocking here. I can even control a leg to start accessing the lever to the hip and turning him away. We don't need the opponent to let go. So anytime we have our opponent buckling down and holding this knee so I can't move it. I can even post both hands here, kick this leg long and extend it straight out. Don't keep a slight bend in it because it's still going to give him something to hook onto. Here extending straight and I can even try and land back to my left side of my hip. So if I can't have my arm, we always need something blocking this hip to prevent any kind of regarding. It can be my hip, it can be my shin, it can be my arm. Here, kicking straight back, turning. If I'm gonna end up falling to this side of the hip, I can't land up like this because I'm a little too high. See how his hips are no longer controlled? If Kevin starts turning right down to his knees quickly into me, I'm gonna potentially be dealing with some wrestling. There's a lot of options that we have from there, but I'd rather stop that. So as soon as I fall over to my hip, performing more of that back step motion, here, kicking, making sure this hand is getting ready to check the hip or control the leg to stop our opponent from turning in. We can also do this one if we have our leg hooked with that shin on shin that we did within the second video. So here I have a lot of base with my foot in contact. So I do have more base. It's gonna be stronger for me to actually perform that donkey kick like an X-Pass. But if Kevin's holding on to my leg here and I get this shin on shin, I can still try and use this to push myself off here. So I'm going to use his leg as base because he's going to be keeping tension so that I'm able to kick myself back and pass. So here I got my knee closer to his hip and my hip dropped a little bit low, pinching with my elbow, boxing his hips here. If your partner or opponent ended up going completely soft with this leg here and it becomes weak, then even though he's holding on to this leg, I'm going to be able to push this by and we're going to start landing in three-quarter mount and we can start setting up attacking the back or undoing this afterwards. This is still a very good position of dominance. So even though he has that underhook with the gable grip, it's not meaningful lever control, so we don't have to worry about it. 